Could time travel be more than just science fiction? Picture this real-life time travelers with tales so incredible they might just be true. From a visitor claiming to come from 2036 to a man holding a photograph from the year 600, we've gathered 20 astonishing claims of time travel. Dive in and prepare to have your reality turned upside down. Number 20. Ettore Majorana. Ettore Majorana is usually known as a brilliant Italian physicist born in 1906. He made significant contributions to the world of quantum mechanics, particularly with his work on neutrinos and the theory of Majorana fermions particles that are their own antiparticles. In fact, his intellectual prowess was incredibly well recognized by his peers, including the renowned physicist Enrico Fermi, who regarded him as a genius on par with Isaac Newton and Galileo Galilei. However, Majorana's promising career and potential scientific contributions were cut short by his mysterious disappearance in 1938, which has fueled speculation and intrigue for decades. The enigma surrounding Majorana's disappearance began with his abrupt departure from Naples where he had taken up a professorship. He vanished after withdrawing a significant sum of money from his bank account leaving behind a cryptic note that suggested he was either planning to take his own life or disappear altogether. The letter addressed to the director of the Naples Physics Institute hinted at a decisive action on his part but was vague enough to leave room for interpretation. Despite extensive searches and investigations, no conclusive evidence of Majorana's fate was ever found leading to rampant speculation and numerous theories about what truly happened to him. One of the more speculative theories that emerged was the idea that Majorana had somehow managed to travel through time. This theory is mainly supported by Majorana's work and his profound understanding of the universe's fundamental principles. Some conspiracists posit that Majorana disillusioned by the potential for his research to be used for destructive purposes, as was the fate of nuclear physics during and after World War II might have sought a way to escape the ethical and moral dilemmas of his time. Majorana might have resorted to time travel or slipping into an alternate dimension, provided Majorana with the means to elude a world on the brink of catastrophic war. However, this aspect of the story remains a subject of speculation. Can we hit 10,000 subscribers? If you believe in us, press that subscribe button. Let's make history together. Number 19. Iranian Time Machine In the spring of 2013, the world was captivated by the alleged discovery of an Iranian scientist Ali Razi, who claimed to have invented a time machine, or at least something similar. This device was not a time machine in the traditional sense of physically transporting individuals through time. Instead, it purportedly allowed users to peer into the future, offering glimpses up to eight years ahead. Razi, a Tehran-based inventor with a reported association with Iran's Center for Strategic Inventions dubbed his device the Ariac Time Traveling Machine. According to Razi, the machine could predict the future in a printout after taking readings from a user's touch providing details on the life and destiny of individuals. In his statements to the media, Razi suggested that the device was intended for use by governments or strategic organizations potentially to predict military conflicts or forecast fluctuations in currency markets and oil prices thereby giving Iran a strategic advantage on the international stage. However, there has been no confirmation regarding the existence of this alleged device. Number 18. Bizarre Case of Rudolf Fentz Rudolf Fentz's story is one that begins in the late 1950s in the Big Apple, New York City. According to the story, one evening, a man appeared in Times Square seemingly out of his element and time. Dressed in the fashion of the late 19th century complete with a top hat and frock coat, this man identified as Rudolf Fentz looked bewildered by the modern world around him. Before he could gather his bearings, he was struck by a car rendering him lifeless. The bizarre details began after a police investigation. In Fentz's pockets were currency from the 1870s, a bill for the care of a horse and the washing of a carriage, a letter sent to an address that no longer existed and business cards bearing his name. Further research led to the discovery of another man named Rudolf Fentz who had disappeared in 1876 vanishing without a trace. This led to speculation that Fentz had somehow traveled through time from the 19th century to the 20th only to meet an untimely end. And yet to this day solid evidence about this man remains elusive and despite the lack of evidence many continue to believe that Fentz indeed experienced a time slip but in his case it ended his life. Number 17. Future Air Raid J. Bernard Hutton, a British journalist, and Jacob Brandt, a photographer, are two figures involved in one of the most controversial reports in history. Hutton and Brandt were assigned to cover a story at the Hamburg shipyard for a German newspaper in 1932. It wasn't really anything extraordinary, or at least that's how it initially seemed. However, what transpired would leave both men bewildered and forever alter their perceptions of reality. As Hutton and Brandt went about their work, the shipyard was suddenly and inexplicably attacked from the air. The sky was filled with the roar of engines and the terrifying sound of bombs exploding around them. The two men found themselves in the midst of what appeared to be a full-scale air raid. 
Amid the chaos Brandt captured photographs of the attack and both men made a hasty retreat from the scene shaken but unharmed. Upon returning to their newspaper office and recounting the ordeal their story was met with incredulity. No reports of an air raid on the Hamburg shipyard had been made. There was no evidence of damage or casualties. Brandt's photographs developed with the anticipation of capturing the harrowing event showed nothing but the serene normality of the shipyard at peace. The story might have ended there dismissed as a shared hallucination or an elaborate hoax were it not for the events that unfolded nearly a decade later. In 1943 during the height of World War II the Hamburg shipyard was subjected to a devastating air raid by Allied forces an attack that mirrored the very scenario Hutton and Brandt claimed to have witnessed in 1932. Quite eerie don't you think? Skeptics and historians have offered various explanations for Hutton and Brandt's account ranging from psychological stress to misinterpreting events. Yet for those inclined to believe in the less explicable, the story suggests yet another possibility of a slip in time. Number 16. Man who time-traveled to year 8973. How different do you think the year 8973 is? That's over 6,900 years from now. I can only imagine just how far we'll have advanced by then. Now I can't even imagine how different 8973 will be mainly because it's hard to believe humanity will still exist by that year. A man named William Taylor however claimed that 8973 was a time when Earth transitioned into a utopia. A world where there is no crime or conflict and every problem has a solution. Sounds like the perfect world to live in right? And yet Taylor claimed he never wanted to return there. He lasted a mere six hours in that year and swore that he never wanted to visit ever again. Williams claimed he was part of a project sponsored by the British government. He was sent to 8973 and there he saw the future of our planet. Instead of humans the Earth is inhabited by cyborg-like residents with abnormally large heads and eyes and small mouths. Unlike humanity these cyborgs are immortal. They can also communicate using telepathy and can translate any language using their technology. Williams also shared stories about the year 3000 which he claimed was worse than the 800s. It seems that in the next millennia, our world will be something quite insufferable to live in, with a red sky and radiation in the air. Of course Williams's claims are quite hard to believe but somehow he passed the lie detector test administered to him. The man claimed that a way to time travel was discovered in 1981, but it's not until 2028 that more people will be privy to this information. Number 15. Time Traveler from the Year 5000. Now here's a time traveler this time an entire three millennia from the present. According to the man's account he was part of a top secret time travel experiment that propelled him thousands of years into the future. Upon arriving in the year 5000, he describes a world different from ours. The cities we see today have been submerged under vast oceans and humanity has been forced to live a life underwater. He brought a photograph purported to show a futuristic cityscape rising from the water. And just like our alleged traveler from the year 6000 many are skeptical about his claims. Again I'll let you be the judge. This narrative adds to the growing collection of time travel tales each more intriguing than the last. Critics argue the lack of verifiable evidence casts doubt on such stories, while supporters find them compelling prompts for discussions on the nature of time and possibility. The man insists his journey was real offering his experience as a glimpse into a possible future of our planet. The debate over his account continues to stir both excitement and skepticism among those who encounter his story. The photograph he presented remains a topic of analysis and debate among believers and skeptics alike. Number 14. Visiting the Gettysburg Address a lawyer by profession with an academic background, it's easy to see why many believe the claims of Andrew Bayago. Bayago claimed that in the late 1960s and early 1970s when he was still a child, he somehow became part of a secret U.S. government program called Project Pegasus. He claimed that he joined the project because his father was a high-ranking engineer working on classified projects at the time. Although generally dismissed as a hoax and a work of fiction, Bayago affirms that Project Pegasus wasn't fiction but a real effort by the U.S. government. According to Bayago, these experiments enabled him to travel back in time to witness historical events firsthand and even to teleport to Mars. His claims skyrocketed Basiego's fame at least among conspiracists and to this day many believe that Project Pegasus indeed accomplished something incomprehensible. Basiego's stories range from attending the Gettysburg Address to exploring Mars with future U.S. presidents. Critics question the lack of tangible evidence to support his extraordinary experiences. Yet Bayago insists on the truth of his accounts and the existence of advanced technologies hidden from the public. His narratives spark curiosity and debate over the possibilities of time travel and secret government projects. Basiego's adventures, whether fact or fiction, continue to fascinate and provoke thought on the mysteries of time and space. Number 13. 
Philadelphia Experiment. Allegedly conducted in October 1943 at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard, the Philadelphia Experiment is said to have achieved the unthinkable rendering the USS Eldridge, a cannon-class destroyer escort, invisible to enemy devices. I know it's hard to believe, but this is just the beginning. The story goes that the ship not only vanished from sight, but also teleported from Philadelphia to Norfolk, Virginia and back again, with some versions of the story suggesting a journey through time itself. But is there any truth to these claims? Well, let's trace the origin of the experiment. The consensus is that the experiment's beginnings can be traced back to the 1950s with the publication of letters and accounts from a man using the pseudonym Carlos Allende. Allende claimed to have witnessed the Eldridge's disappearance while aboard a nearby ship, the SS Andrew Furiseth. According to Allende, the experiment was part of a series of tests to apply Albert Einstein's unified field theory in an attempt to achieve invisibility through the manipulation of electromagnetic fields. The story alleges that the experiment had unforeseen consequences including crew members being physically fused to the ship upon rematerialization severe psychological trauma and the unintended temporal displacement of the vessel. Skeptics and historians have extensively challenged the veracity of the Philadelphia experiment citing a lack of concrete evidence inconsistencies in accounts and the implausibility of the scientific principles purportedly employed. Meanwhile, the U.S. Navy has categorically denied any involvement in such an experiment attributing the story to a combination of wartime rumors optical illusions created by degaussing techniques used to make the ship magnetically invisible to torpedoes and the imaginative embellishment of tales told by sailors and conspiracy theorists. I'll let you be the judge on this one. Number 12. Father Pellegrino Ernetti's Chronovisor. Father Pellegrino Ernetti was a Roman Catholic priest who joined the Benedictine Order at the young age of 16. If you're into the occult and the macabre, you might recognize him for being a famous exorcist from Venice. However, he's a man known for something else, the chronovisor. This functional device made using antennas, metals, and cathode rays can allegedly capture anything in time. Ernetti claimed that rather than a time travel machine, the chronovisor was a tool to watch and capture historical scenes in detail. Using this device, Ernetti has witnessed speeches from the Roman Senate in 63 BC, the crucifixion of Christ, and the Last Supper, among other biblical events. But of course, controversy and skepticism surrounded Ernetti's claims. The scientific community questioned the feasibility of such technology, pointing out the lack of concrete evidence and the impossibility of the chronovisor function according to the known laws of physics. Skeptics also pointed out inconsistencies in Ernetti's story and the alleged chronovisor photo's resemblance to a sculpture of Christ suggesting the possibility of a well-crafted hoax. But to this day, many remain fascinated by Ernetti's alleged device. Number 11. Charlotte Walton. Charlotte's experience is somehow reminiscent of the Moberly Jordan incident. Charlotte Walton is among the few who claimed they had experienced a time slip. It began on the 18th of June 1968, a time when England, like much of the world, was navigating the aftermath of war and the onset of modern technological advances. It was at this time that Charlotte stumbled upon a cafe while gallivanting around the village in search of her favorite coffee. However, the cafe she visited was anything but ordinary. According to Charlotte, upon entering the cafe, she found herself inside a shop that seemed built over a decade earlier. The decor was old-fashioned, at least for the year 1968, even the patrons seemed dated for a summer in the 60s. Although perplexed Charlotte didn't probe further and visited other establishments to find her favorite coffee. It was when she met up with her husband and told him about her experience that she realized that something was amiss. Charlotte tried to show her husband the cafe, but no matter how often she searched for it, she never found it. In its place was a completely different establishment with no sign or record of the cafe she remembered so vividly. Skeptics might dismiss Warburton's account as a figment of her imagination or a misremembering of events. However, her story is not isolated. It joins a collection of similar anecdotes documented throughout history where individuals claim to have momentarily stepped into the past or visited places that later proved to be non-existent in their time. Number 10. Hakan Nordqvist. In 2006, Hakan Nordqvist, a Swedish man, claimed to have experienced an event so extraordinary that it challenged the very fabric of our understanding of time and space. His story began on an ordinary day when he came home to find water flooding his kitchen. Attempting to fix what he assumed was a standard plumbing issue, he reached under the sink and, according to his account, found himself crawling further than the physical space should have allowed. It was through this unexpected journey that Nordqvist emerged not just in a different place but a different time years into the future where he encountered an older version of himself. Now this can easily be dismissed if not because the man claimed he managed to take a video with his mobile phone of himself and his older counterpart who is significantly older but still has the same identical tattoo. Although not as good digital manipulation was already possible in 2006 albeit much more basic and easier to distinguish. Even so, Nordqvist's experience became among the most convincing stories of a time slip. Number 9. 
Victor Goddard. In 1935, the senior commander of the British Royal Air Force Victor Goddard experienced something many would say is otherworldly. Goddard had a brush with the unknown beginning on a routine flight from Edinburgh, Scotland to his home base in Andover, England. Goddard's journey took an unexpected turn as he flew over the disused Drem airfield in East Lothian, Scotland. At the time Drem was in a state of disrepair its hangars and ruins, and its runways overgrown with foliage a remnant of the First World War's end. Goddard's account details a sudden and severe storm that forced him to navigate above the clouds where he experienced disorienting conditions that some might describe as otherworldly. Upon descending the storm unexpectedly cleared to reveal the sun shining down on the Drem airfield below, but this was not the dilapidated state he had observed just moments before. Instead Goddard described seeing a fully operational airfield with mechanics in blue overalls unlike the brown ones RAF personnel wore, at the time working on yellow planes a color not used by the RAF until years later. Bewildered by this sight Goddard continued on his journey unable to make sense of what he had witnessed. It was only four years later in 1939 that the RAF began to use the Drem airfield again refurbishing it to the standards Goddard had seen including the adoption of yellow training planes and the introduction of mechanics blue overalls. This retrospective realization left Goddard and those who heard his story astonished. How could he have seen the future state of Drem airfield under clear and vivid conditions? Well to this day we are yet to have a logical explanation behind Sir Goddard's experience. Number 8. Bizarre Newspaper Ad in the early 1990s, a bizarre newspaper ad captured the attention of many. The ad read, wanted somebody to go back in time with me. This is not a joke, P.O. Box 322 Oakview, California, 93022. You'll get paid after we get back. Must bring your own weapons. Safety not guaranteed. I have only done this once before. The ad's bizarre specificity coupled with its cryptic assurance of safety not being guaranteed raised questions about the advertiser's intentions and the possibility of time travel. Was this a clever hoax a code to something else or a genuine advert? The intrigue around the ad spurred a wide range of reactions from amusement and skepticism to earnest speculation and analysis. Some saw it as an invitation to an adventure beyond the confines of current reality, while others viewed it as a playful experiment in social engineering. Over the years, the ad has inspired various forms of media, including films and articles exploring the themes of time travel and human connection. The mystery surrounding the ad and its author remains unsolved, fueling ongoing debate and fascination. This unique piece of classified advertising history continues to provoke thought about the limits of possibility and the human desire to explore the unknown. Number 7. Moberly and Jourdain Encounter In 1901, at the dawn of the 20th century, two English women experienced something unexpected. Charlotte and Moberly and Eleanor Jourdain, both of whom bonded over history and intellect, had a casual stroll through the gardens of Versailles. Both of them were unprepared for what they were about to experience. As Moberly and Jourdain wandered away from the main tourist paths in search of the Petit Trinan, a small chateau within the grounds famously associated with Marie Antoinette, the atmosphere around them inexplicably changed. Without them noticing the scene around them had changed and they found themselves almost as if they were in the late 18th century. The two women claimed to see buildings and landscapes that appeared familiar and unsettlingly out of place. They encountered people dressed in period clothing, including a woman sketching whom they later believed to be Marie Antoinette herself days before the turmoil of the French Revolution would engulf her life. Many tried to explain the reason behind Moberly and Jourdain's experience from a simple hallucination fatigue to a paranormal experience. Although countless people tried to refute the experience of the two Moberly and Jourdain remained firm about what they saw. Time traveling or just a paranormal experience? I'll let you be the judge. Number 6. A time traveler from the year 600. Now perhaps this is something you've already heard in the news just recently in 2023. The story of an alleged time traveler emerged on the internet. According to the account, an individual whose identity remains shrouded in mystery, due to the obscuring of their face and voice in interviews claims to have journeyed from the distant future specifically from the year 600. This person speaking through distorted audio to preserve anonymity has shared his experiences over 4,000 years into the future. They describe a world where society is significantly advanced by technology beyond our current understanding where cities are built with architecture that defies the laws of physics as we know them and where diseases that plague humanity today have been eradicated. One of the most riveting pieces of evidence this alleged traveler offers is a blurry photograph claimed to be taken in the year 600. The image difficult to decipher and open to interpretation is said to depict a futuristic cityscape with buildings and technology that no known contemporary design or science can explain. Critics argue that the photo lacks clarity and detail making it insufficient proof of time travel and easy to dismiss as a fabrication. 
Well, with how easy it is to fabricate digital images and even videos today, I understand the sheer amount of skepticism surrounding this alleged time traveler story. Number 5. A Man from Taurid Now here's a story that you might have already heard before. In the 1950s on a sunny day at Tokyo's Haneda Airport, a well-dressed man arrived marking the beginning of a remarkable tale. Nothing seemed unusual at first glance until he presented his passport during customs checks. The passport appeared to be issued by a country called Taured, a nation that according to our world maps and political knowledge does not exist. The man was adamant that Taured was a sovereign state located between France and Spain and expressed confusion and frustration when informed otherwise. He claimed he was in Japan on business something he had done many times before and provided a passport filled with previous stamps as proof of his extensive travels. The man also carried currencies from several European countries, had a driver's license issued by the mysterious country of Taured and possessed checks from a bank that nobody could trace. Naturally, the TSA was baffled clueless as to what to do. The man was detained for further questioning and he was asked to point out Taured on a map. Without hesitation, he indicated the area occupied by the Principality of Andorra genuinely bewildered by its absence. As the story goes, the man was held in a nearby hotel room under guard until an investigation could be conducted. The room was high above the ground with no balcony and the only exit was watched by security. Yet, by the next morning, the man had vanished without a trace leaving behind a mystery that would captivate the imagination of many for decades. Skeptics and researchers have scoured for evidence of this incident seeking official records or eyewitness accounts, but the story of the man from Taured often appears to lack verifiable sources leading some to dismiss it as an urban legend or a concoction of the early internet. Yet it persists as one of the most renowned stories of a time traveler or perhaps a person who somehow slipped into another universe. Number 4. The Vanishing Shop Here's yet again another time slip. Frank was a local policeman who didn't expect to experience something mind-boggling. As the man recounted his journey through the bustling streets of Liverpool, took an unexpected turn when he stepped into a seemingly ordinary alley only to emerge into the Liverpool of the 1960s. Frank described the cars, the fashion, and the shop fronts all distinctly from decades ago. The people he saw and the conversations he overheard were all consistent with the time leaving no doubt in his mind that he had in some inexplicable way traveled back in time. Skeptics might argue that such experiences can be explained away by psychological phenomena such as deja vu or even elaborate hoaxes. However, Frank continues to insist that he indeed traveled back in time. His insistence adds to the mystery and allure of time-slip phenomena captivating the imagination of those who hear his story. This encounter has not only affected Frank's perception of reality, but also invites others to ponder the boundaries of time and space. The debate over the possibility of time travel and slips in time remains open with stories like Frank's fueling the fire. Whether a figment of the imagination or a crack in the fabric of time Frank's experience stands as a testament to the unfathomable mysteries that still elude human understanding. Number 3. Stephen Gibbs HDR. If Fernetti had the chronovisor Stephen Gibbs, an inventor from Iowa, had the hyperdimensional resonator or the HDR. The HDR, according to Gibbs, was born out of his extensive research into electromagnetism and its potential effects on time and space. He described the device as a complex apparatus capable of generating a powerful electromagnetic field, which when properly calibrated and utilized could enable the user to transcend the conventional barriers of time. Basically speaking, the HDR is a time-traveling machine. The machine consisted of various components including a dial for setting the desired date and location a powerful magnet, and a witness well for placing objects that hold a personal connection to the user reportedly to enhance the focus and effectiveness of the time travel process. Skepticism naturally surrounded Gibbs's claims. Critics pointed to the lack of empirical evidence and the theoretical impossibilities posed by current understandings of physics. The scientific community bound by the constraint of empirical evidence and peer review largely dismissed the HDR as a fanciful creation with no basis in reality. Yet the story of the HDR and Stephen Gibbs found a receptive audience among enthusiasts of the paranormal and alternative science. Number 2. Time-Traveling Hipster Now take a look at this photo that seems to defy explanation at least at first glance. This photograph was captured in 1941. It looks normal at first until you look closer and notice one bizarre figure a person dubbed as the time-traveling hipster. As the moniker suggests this man looks like he wasn't of the time. He's wearing what seems to be modern sunglasses and sporting a style that would not be common until decades later. The photograph first gained widespread attention in the 21st century when it was featured in an online exhibition by the Braylorn Pioneer Museum. It wasn't long before people noticed the man who is admittedly incredibly eye-catching. 
the hipster is seen wearing what appears to be a t-shirt emblazoned with a modern-looking logo sunglasses that resemble the type popular in the 2000s and holding a portable camera. This item seems out of place among the hats and overcoats of the 1940s crowd. Although the photo sparked countless theories about time travel, the consensus today is that the hipster wasn't a visitor from another year but rather just a common hipster at the time of fashionista who wore more daring clothes than most people. As some people pointed out, all the clothing and accessories he wore were available in the 1940s, albeit not as common as they would become in later decades. Now I'll leave it up to you to decide what to believe. It's quite funny, though, how a man's bizarre fashion taste sparked theories about an alleged time traveler. Number 1. John Titer. It's a year after the turn of the century under a decade since people began using the internet. Now before Twitter, Facebook, and even before Friendster, which began in 2001 but sadly ended in 2015, people were using forums. Online forums, they're similar to 4chan and Reddit, but are incredibly basic versions of those. It was at this time that the username TimeTravel underscore zero began appearing on various sites. The person named John Titer claimed that he was a man from the year 2036, which if you think about it isn't really that far off from today. But at the time, 2036 sounds like a distant future. People were further captivated when Titer shared stories about the future. He claimed he worked for the American military and went back in time to retrieve an IBM 5100 computer, an old machine that was needed to debug various legacy computer programs that existed in 2036. Titer, being the grandchild of one of the people who worked on the 5100, was selected to personally travel back in time. In 1975, he somehow found himself in 2000 for what he claimed was personal reasons. The alleged time traveler told about a lot of premonitions, or rather what he claimed was what would happen in the future. A nuclear war civil unrest, the beginning of the Third World War at the end of 2015 or the end day and much more. Unfortunately for Titer, almost if not none of these came true. Despite this fact, many continued to believe that Titer was indeed a visitor from 2036. The man repeatedly claimed that the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics might dictate this world and Titers would differ, and so many believe that perhaps by visiting and interfering with the natural flow of time and space, he altered what was set to happen. Since the early 2000s, Titer's story has inspired countless fictional creations, and he continues to be a popular figure in pop culture and obscure conspiracy theories. There's a lot more to John Titer's story than what most stories claim. Who knows, perhaps despite claims of his story being a hoax, the next chapter might unfold in his story. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Remember, you're not just a viewer. You're a part of this amazing community. See you in the next video.